I'm Leslie Meredith with Break Bulk Events and Media, and we have just finished our first ever micro seminar, which the topic was marine contracts. Marine contracts. Said? Okay. Well, that's easy. I know it had a very long title when I saw it, but I have our two instructors here who usually sit on opposite sides of the table, right? Indeed. Yes, ma'am. So they are representing carriers and EPCs. So they have different perspectives, different parts of the contracts that are important to them. And I'd like to know, and I know that you all would too, what are the three, say, key things that um, someone on either side of the table uh, who's negotiating such a contract needs to be aware of? What's the mo what are the most important things? So it all starts at the time of negotiations. Uh, we often see that there are subs whenever somebody is being indicated or in the firm offer is being given. And it's very, very important to understand what sticks behind these subs. It's a subject that basically is a reservation on the numbers that are being quoted. Uh, so a customer needs to be aware of that, you know, what actually sticks under these subjects. Okay. The second thing um, that I believe is important uh, is the um, making sure that the carrier that you're doing business with actually has the capability in order to carry the cargo as well too. And here we are of course looking at having a right bedding procedure in place. Um, you got to make sure that they have capability to handle, lift the cargo and so forth, uh, but also the range uh, from within you need to move your cargos. Um, do you want to jump in? Uh, I'll add a couple of things from the okay. uh, cargo owner perspective. Probably the most important thing to remember is that the, the contracts themselves, the basic contracts, come from a shipper, a, a carrier side, from a carrier organization. And although over the years they've become more balanced, they are still written in favor primarily of the, the carrier themselves. So as a shipper, a cargo owner, it's important to know this and to look at the detailed terms and conditions, that backside of that contract where the 14 clauses are with thousands of words and make sure that exclusions are taken or exceptions are taken or removed for those uh, clauses and words that are wording that is detrimental to the shipper's interest. So that's number one. Number two is that in most cases there's other contracts. The contractor of uh, sale or purchase of goods related to the cargo that's moving. The, the owner's either selling them or buying them and there's other contracts involved. It's important to get the marine contract aligned with the requirements of the sale of the goods contracts. It often doesn't happen that ends up with disputes in the parties, uh, confusion, gaps and lapses that, that don't need to exist if more attention is paid there. So I also find it's very important to recognize that when you're looking at booking terms that they're not always uniform. Carriers are developing their own terms on their own letterhead and even within the same carrier they might actually have different terms depending on what trade lane or what commodity that they're carrying. Likewise, we're also starting to see more and more merchants developing their own contracts of carriage terms too. So it's important to read the fine print and not just take it for face value because it looks the same. Let me ask you one last question. How can two parties like you work better together to, to end up with the, the best contract for both parties. What advice would you give others as they go into the negotiating table? Well, I, I think from uh, from our perspective, it's important to be transparent. It's I think it's incumbent on both the parties to ensure that each other is well aware of what the contract contains. Uh, one party is perhaps more skilled or more experienced than the other um, to take advantage of that. Um, uh, and use it as leverage I don't think is, is beneficial over the long run. So transparency and a, a mutual level of understanding will produce a contract that's more successful for both. Great. I think it's very, very important that expectations are uh, communicated up front so we know what we are trying to achieve. Oftentimes we are coming from different kinds of motivation, but if we can communicate it together, then we will be able to come up with a more appropriate contract 
it might be possible for the ship owner to address more of the customer's needs if we are aware of it up front so we, we get more proactive instead of reactive. So it, it all starts with communication, really, and knowing what expectations really are. And then I think it's very important that the industry continues educating themselves. There's been a big turnover on industry, and I think it's very, very important that we get the knowledge level up uh, so we all are talking more or less the same language. Well, we appreciate your both of your efforts in helping that come about with this first micro seminar. So thank you so much.